This six-year-old girl survived an attack by the Assad regime on her family's home in the city of Muarrat al Nu'man in southern Idlib province last month. Several rockets fell on our building. My aunt died in the attack. The rocket hit the kitchen where she was. She was fasting that day and was doing ablution for prayer. The rest of us got a bit injured, but they weren't so bad. Just some scratches. Marwa now has shrapnel in her legs and head, and she's trying to spread the word about attacks on civilians via social media, hoping that someone might do something to stop the violence and keep civilians safe. I don't want to live under shelling or anything like that. I want me and my family to live in safety and nothing else. Marwa was too afraid to go with us to visit her home. So her brother Farid took us to Ma'arad al Oman, 90 kilometers south of where they're living now, to visit what's left of their home. Marwa and her cousins were playing right here when the rocket fell on their building. This closet fell in this way and protected them from the blast. My parents were in the other room and I was in this room laying down. I woke up to wash and pray and suddenly there was a large explosion. It was like a dream from all the dust and chaos. I checked on my parents and they were okay. I ran to check on Marwa who was downstairs at my grandparents' apartment. I found my sister with some injuries so I took her to a safe place. Farid says coming back to live in the destruction left behind by the Assad regime is not an option. So they'll have to rebuild their lives where they are now as long as the Russian-backed regime is targeting civilians. Obeidahito, TRT World, Muarrat al Syria.